sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm going down to the house for sausage. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna put me a brat in a red hot foot long. I'm gonna smoke me a fatty brisket. I got my barbecue shoes Welcome to the barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're going to do some brown sugar spare ribs on the grill. All right, this is real easy to do. Here I've got three racks of uh, pork ribs, and uh, they're about five pounds a rack. We've got about a total of uh, 15 pounds here, and uh, they've already been washed. And all you want to do here is uh, clean them up a little bit. You can remove uh, some of the uh, connective tissue here and some of the excess fat. That's kind of easy to do. Now some rib masters won't even do this, but I like to remove some of the excess fat and connective tissue. Now you can also do these St. Louis style. You can trim these up. and You can check out one of our other videos and see how to do that. Alright, now you can choose to remove the membrane on the back or you can just score it with your knife like this. Alright, let's do another one here. Now, if you've never had these brown sugar ribs before, well, you definitely got to check this out. This is uh, a little different than your low and slow method. Uh, these will take maybe about two hours, about half the time to do these racks than uh, a normal low and slow uh, rib. The texture is a little bit different, but they're falling off tender good. You got to definitely check this out. All right, we'll move this along. Next thing you want to do here is uh, put on some rub. Now you could choose your favorite rub right off the shelf somewhere, or you could make up your own. Check out one of our videos for a pork rub. It is essentially here salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic. It's got a little cayenne in here. Of course, we got some sweet paprika. And just give it a good rub, both sides of these racks. You know how to do this, so we'll just move this right along. All right. Now you want to take your racks and uh, put them in a pan. And we're doing this uh, indirect, opposite the hot coals. And you just take each rack and pile one on top of the other. Now this is a grated pan. So we're going to keep that bottom rack uh, out of the moisture and juices as it cooks. And here I'm adding a little beef broth. This will help tenderize these ribs as we're cooking it. We're going to be uh, cooking this at about 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And like I said, it'll take about two hours to do. All right. Now here I've got about two pounds of brown sugar, and this happens to be a dark brown sugar. This is the magic to these uh, spare ribs. Now you just layer it all over the top of these ribs. And that homemade barbecue sauce is simmered up good, and we just take it off the hot coals. Man, there's nothing like sweet brown sugar spare ribs hot off the grill.
Now you want to take some aluminum foil and cover this pan. This will be one of the reasons why these uh, ribs will be lip smacking, falling off the bone. And they're only going to take about a little over two hours, like I said. They're not low and slow, but they're real good. All right, now we'll put the cover on. And again, 250, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey. All right, about an hour's gone by. Take a look at that. Man, can you smell that? Oh, man, it smells good. Here we're going to flip this pan around. Because we're doing that uh, indirect heating, so we want to get some even heating going here on the grill. And this is where we uh, take the aluminum foil off. Because the last hour or so, we're just going to cook them opposite them coals. And then this here is optional, but I like to uh, alternate these racks at least once here. You can see on a small grill, you can cook up a lot of ribs. All right. Put that cover on, and it'll be ready in about an hour. All right, through the miracle of time, these sweet brown sugar spare ribs are done. Take a look at that. Now here I've got a chimney full of uh, preheated charcoal because what we're going to do next here is going to sear these racks for a minute or two each side before serving them up. So you want to heat up your coals, get them good and hot. And then of course you want to rewarm up that big pot of homemade barbecue sauce. All right, let's sear these ribs. Now, as I said, you want to do this about a minute or two each side. Get a little grill mark, get a little more texture. This is what makes it real special. All right, that one's done. Hooey! Hey. Let's push this right along. I really don't need to show you too much more of that. You're getting the idea. Good eating around the pit. Don't get any better than this.
All right, it's time to cut them up. See how tender and moist these ribs are? Now we could show you cutting one rib at a time here, but we're getting hungry, so we're going to speed this up. Now here it's all about the sauce, especially with this type of uh, spare rib where we're doing it on the grill. Make sure you have yourself a good sauce. Pour it all over them ribs. Hey! In fact, we're gonna have to try some of this right now, right in front. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your barbecue, you check out the barbecuepitboys.com.